What's up guys, welcome to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your brand new Pixel 7 device. So I just got the Pixel 7 Pro and Pixel 7 and I'm going to be going through the initial setup and showing you everything you need to do to set up your device for the first time. So once you take your device out of the box, obviously the first thing we got to do is hit the power button to get the device powered up. So we're going to go ahead and hit that and hold it for a few seconds and let your phone boot up and then you're going to see the Google logo and your phone is now starting up for the first time. All right, so there we go. That took about 30 to 40 seconds and you can see we are greeted with the welcome page. Now, the first option in here you have is to change the language. So mine is set to English by default, but if you want to change it to any other language, you can do that through here. I'm just going to leave it by on default. And we also have the accessibility options here. So if you have any disabilities, you can actually set up your pixel using your voice, which is a pretty nice feature. But for me, I'm just going to leave these at default and hit get started. Now on this page, you have the option to connect to a mobile network. So if you have your SIM card ready or you have your old phone nearby, you can take the SIM card out of your, whoop, you can take the SIM card out of your old phone using the ejector tool that actually comes in the box and insert your SIM into your new phone. You don't have to do this here. You can actually save this for later. I'm going to hit skip and then we're going to go to the next page, which is going to allow us to connect to a Wi-Fi network. So allow it to search for your Wi-Fi networks, select whatever network you want to connect to and put in your password. All right, now hit connect and it'll connect you to your Wi-Fi. All right, now we're connected to our Wi-Fi network and you can see it's getting your phone ready. It's just doing a few things in the background to get things ready for data transfer. So here you go, this next screen you can see it's asking you to copy all of your apps and data from your old phone. Now, if this is something you wanna do, you can go ahead and copy data from your old Android or iPhone device onto your new one. You will need the cable that comes in the box and I do have a tutorial on how to do that. You can check out my other videos that I'll link in the description below. For now, we're gonna skip this step. I don't wanna copy any data. I just wanna do an initial setup of this phone. So for now, we're gonna go ahead and hit don't copy. Okay, now it's asking us to sign in to our Google account. Now, personally, I'm gonna skip this for now because I don't remember my Google password. It's managed by my password manager and I don't wanna have to go through all that right now on camera but I suggest you guys set this up right now. Or if you do skip this, set a reminder to come back and set this up later through the settings, because if you don't set this up, you're gonna actually miss out on a lot of the important features, like having access to the app store to download apps, backing up your phone, or using other important Google services like calendars and contacts. So be sure to set this up. And if you do skip, set a reminder to come back. So I'm gonna skip this for now and do this later through the settings. All right, so now we get to the Google services page, and this is essentially just asking you if Google can have access to your location to allow scanning for networks and to send usage diagnostics to improve their services. Now, all of these are optional and you can toggle them on or off. Now, personally, I'm okay with these, but if you are more of a tinfoil hat kind of person, you can disable all of these, but know that they will hamper your phone's ability to be able to provide you with things like accurate driving directions, making sure your search results include things that are actually in your location and other important things like that. Again, for me, I think that these are really important for the usability and accuracy of your phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and leave these enabled. The one thing that I would personally maybe disable is sending usage diagnostics to Google so they can improve their services. This one, I kind of really don't care about it. So I'm gonna disable it and then go ahead and hit accept. So next we have a limited warranty screen, which is a screen I haven't seen before on any of their previous devices. So this looks like it's a new screen. Pretty much it just says that you can view the warranty for this device in whatever country, or you can view them later from the settings. So for now, we're just gonna hit next. Okay, now we're gonna set a pin for our phone and this is the pin that we're gonna use to unlock our phone. So go ahead and set up whatever pin you want. It has to be four digits at the least. We're gonna enter that and confirm. And now it's asking us to set up a fingerprint to unlock our phone. So if you wanna set up your finger to unlock your phone instead of using a pin, just scroll down to the bottom and hit I agree. And then here hit start and then just place your finger on the circle in the middle and you can see it'll start scanning your finger. Now I do recommend that you kind of move your finger around in a few different positions just because you never know how you're gonna be holding your phone when you unlock it. All right, there we go. Now it says fingerprint has been added. So we're gonna go ahead and hit next. All right, so new on the Pixel 7s is of course the ability to have face unlock. I'm really happy that they brought this because the Pixel 6 didn't have it and the fingerprint scanner wasn't the best. So it was a little bit of a pain getting into your phone, but now we have the option to set up face unlock. So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna scroll down to the bottom, hit I agree, and then follow the instructions to set that up. All right, so we're gonna hit start. All right, I'm gonna tilt your head up. I was gonna tell you exactly what to do, tilt your head down. All right, so there we go. That was pretty quick. 
So it says now when you pick up your phone and tap on the screen, you can use your face to unlock. Now keep in mind, this is face unlock. It's not as good as Apple's face ID. So it won't actually work in the dark because there's no infrared depth uh, sensors in here. It is just a pretty simple face unlock. It needs to have good lighting, but it'll still work pretty reliably in the light. And I'm happy that we have more than just the fingerprint unlock this time. So we're gonna hit done and move on to the next step. Okay, here we have the ability to install a few additional Google apps. You can go through here, you can see we have Google Meet for meetings, Google Home for all of your smart home devices. You know, you have your news, Google One for your storage, Google Wallet. Just go ahead and select whichever ones you want or deselect whichever ones you don't want and then hit okay. All right, so now it just says that it's getting our phone ready, so give it a minute. All right, so the next step here is actually to familiarize yourself with swipe navigation. Now, if you've never used swipe navigation, but you always use kind of those buttons on the bottom, I highly suggest you go through this because using swipe gestures to navigate around your phone is a lot quicker, a lot more intuitive, and once you get used to it, it actually is a, a lot more natural way to use your phone. Uh, if you already know how to do this, you can hit it skip, but if you haven't used navigations before, you can go through this tutorial and I'll just show you how to, you know, go from all of your different apps, how to swipe around and just get around your phone. For me, I already know how to do this. So I'm just gonna hit skip. We're gonna skip this tutorial. And then you can see our phone is now all set up. It says you're ready to start using your phone. And at this point, all we need to do is swipe up to go to our home screen. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and voila. Our phone is all set up. Now during that setup, if you did opt in to install any of those extra Google applications, you can see it's actually downloading them in the background. So just give it a few minutes to do that. Actually, you can see it just completed installing those eight apps. And it also says up here, uh, finish setting up your Pixel device. So if you tap on this, it'll take you to a few extra features. You can set up your Google Assistant, Google Pay, and some of those extra features. You can hit start and go through kind of that whole setup process here. I'm gonna skip this for now. You guys can do this um, on your own time, but essentially it's just gonna get you to do all of the things that we skipped during the wizard, like putting the SIM into our card and logging into our Google account. So go ahead and set all of that up and you should be good to go. And that's pretty much everything there is to it, guys. Now your phone is officially set up and ready to go. You can start using it. You can start navigating around, logging into all of your accounts, downloading your applications and setting up your brand new phone. Now, if you do wanna go back and transfer all of your data from your old phone to your new Pixel device, I will have a video linked in the description below that you can check out for a how-to guide on how to do that. But for now, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you enjoy your new Pixel device. Peace.